Good morning, good afternoon everybody. Today is about the middle of summer. We're getting ready for uh, fall scouting, or uh, summer scouting and fall hunting. But anyway, I picked up this saddle kit. It was only $200, it's by XOP. And it comes with a few ropes, three ropes, a saddle right here, and a platform for all 200 bucks. All you need is the sticks. It does not come with sticks, disclaimer, obviously. It says on the packaging if you look close enough at it. But anyway, I mean, it's pretty cheap for like the price point and it's, it's built heavy duty I mean this is a uh, cast and steel I think it's it's pretty heavy there's just some weight to it but it's such a small object rope well it's such a small object that it kind of doesn't make a difference in your bag anyway it's not like dragging on like I just have this attached to my backpack like right here or something and when I'm walking in it's it's money so yeah we're gonna I'll show you this stuff a little bit closer and we'll get on a tree and show you around so starting off, it comes with three ropes. Each have a loop at the end and your slider with the carabiner. So this just moves like that. And it stays super tight when you have weight on it. So pretty sweet, comes with three of them. So we got one end of the rope tied in a square knot here. And on the other side, your carabiner is just hooked on and you have a rope in the middle. It's kind of hard to see and I'll get it on and show you a better view at it. There's a clip in the middle, and this is kind of what it looks like. This is excess rope. Um, all the videos, product videos I've watched the, when the XOP made the, an actual like product video, they keep all the ropes long so it fits everybody's desired needs, and you can cut everything you need uh, and just burn it off so you don't have, so it's more user friendly. And these are leg straps right here, way up here on the sides. I have not used them. I've tried them, and they're super uncomfortable. And it already has leg straps kind of built into the lower saddle part. And I've just been using those, so I will cut these off. I just wanted to make this video with them still on so I can show you. But my honest opinion, I think they're useless. I really do. Uh, they're uncomfortable. It's just another rope around your crotch. And yeah, so I'm just going to cut them off and burn them. I don't have to think ever get, think about them ever again. Uh, the shoulder straps, I mean, you don't have to have the stuff super tight because most of your weight's like on your butt anyway. It covers a good chunk of your butt and yeah so now looking towards the saddle um, the only assembly piece is the upper claw there's one bolt here that you have to tighten otherwise everything comes put together and a piece I really like about this is there's an adjustable screw on the bottom so then you can loosen this to make your <clears throat> angle of your platform match your tree so we're gonna take this tree here for example I don't have any steps but this is just a quick video it comes with a little loop for it comes with the strap little loop and this just goes around your tree like so it's super easy to set up when you're floating up in the air really isn't bad I'm trying not to get it twisted here so you can see we're set up now and I guess you can probably Tighten it right here. Then she clamps in good. But say you want to change the angle, all you do is lift up your platform, twist it, tighten or loosen. Say let's tighten it a ton. Your platform's more up. Or you loosen it a ton. Your platform will be angled down more. It's micro adjustments. It's just whatever is more comfiest for you. So like I said, it comes with three ropes, but you only need two of them for when you're just hanging. And here's one of them. We're gonna go ahead, pop up on the platform here and get this hung. So like I said, it comes with three ropes, but you only need two of them for when you're just hanging. And here's one of them. We're gonna go ahead, pop up on the platform here and get this hung. So I like, what I've been doing is about I don't know, a couple inches over my head seems to be super comfortable so you kind of just throw it around and then you might want to get over my shoulder this way you can see the so you have this right here this loop the hook so what I'm gonna do I take this go through here like so this is kind of a pain but you get this through here so it's like that 
And then I kind of pull it to this one way and then pull it back and tighten it just so it stays nice and tight. And then now you have this loop that's down here that's already connected to you. You can slide this down however long you want. And then you get this attached anywhere so it's floating in the middle just like that. And then you're just hanging. And it is pretty comfy. Like I'm surprised. I thought this would be super uncomfortable. Um, it gets old a little bit, especially if you're a bigger guy. I'm not very big, but I'm I'm about 200 pounds. I got. I mean, you know, you got your quarantine 15 on you. But these straps do get a little tighter on your hips uh, if you have wide hips, or just you know, it does get a little tight around here. But you can play around with like adjusting how tight your leg straps are. I mean, you could tight loosen these all the way and just have them hang, you really could be fine. Another sweet feature that you could buy is a, this doesn't come with a back strap, but you can get another strap that come, goes from here, like to your mid back, so you can lean back more. Cause like, right now there's not really back support, but yeah, you can pretty much swing around the tree like the whole way. Like if you had a buck over here, I mean it is, it's pretty sweet to monkey around on. And this is, I think they label this as a step. And say you don't want to hang this much, all you got to do, don't mess around with how loose this is. All you got to do is just stand up, Ugh, pull this thing up. So I just hold this end, slide super easy. Then you just go back down. And now you're standing up more. Say you have a buck behind you or any deer you desire to shoot. I think the easiest way is probably just to stand like this. The platform is big enough where you can stand comfortably and feel safe and just draw it like that. Just draw. It's not bad. For 200 bucks, I think it's pretty sweet. Now this is off of the tether or whatever that goes around the harness, this string. So once you find your desired space, you just cut that and tape it. You can cut this off and then uh, use a torch or lighter and so it doesn't fray. But yeah, it's pretty sweet for only 200 bucks. It's a good good way to start if you don't want to take spend a bunch of money on like a tethered saddle or something like that. So say you've been standing a long day, your legs are getting tired, you're three hours into your hunt. Uh, you just loosen your leg straps so they're nice and loose and you can just sit just like this. Man, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world but it definitely gives your legs a break. And it's comfy enough where you could probably sit like this for 20 30 minutes but yeah it's it's enough on your butt you can always adjust your shoulder straps so you don't want your shoulder straps on you can always cut them off and just have the saddle part but I mean then your shoulder free pretty sweet <laughs> yeah so my honest opinion on a $200 saddle uh, it's got everything you need to get started I think I think in the future I might invest in a comfier saddle, but it definitely will get me through this year for sure. I'm not planning on doing any all day sits in it, but if I do, I will comment under this video and let you know how it goes. But yeah, the platform is pretty great. It's big, it's comfortable, it's not hard on your feet, and it's pretty solid. I mean, it doesn't, like, that's as far to the corner as I can get and it's not kicking out. So that's, that's one good thing, like if you're leaning like this, shooting it like right here I don't know why you would but you might whatever but $200 it's a great kit XOP you outdid yourself for meeting a lot of people's price range and yeah I'm gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching if you have any questions I'll be in the comments below waiting for you guys to drop some so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video take care see ya